Hey guys, and welcome back to The Crazy Life of Kathy Potter. This is stories that you probably shouldn't be listening to at night. Dun, da, dun. Today, we have a chilling tale for you. And it is called The Neighbor. So, here we go. There was once a family who lived in a suburban house. They had recently moved in. Recently meaning a couple of weeks ago. When they found out they had a neighbor next door. The neighbor seemed normal. Perfectly, perfectly normal. He invited them over for dinner with him and his wife. He brought them housewarming gifts, as flowers and a cake. He even went so far as to give them the rules of the neighborhood, which everybody followed, but were definitely very strange. First one was never to be out past 10.30 p.m. The second one was never to go into somebody else's lawn or yard without their permission. The third law or rule was super strange and it was never to check someone's mailbox without permission, even though nobody would do that. And the last rule was to be asleep before 3 a.m. Now in this family, in the suburban house, There was a mother, a father, a sister, and two brothers. The sister was the middle child, and she had an older and a younger brother. The oldest brother's name was Tom. The girl's name was Jennifer, and the youngest brother's name was Hazel. The parents had thought he would be a girl, so they had named him Hazel. One day, when Hazel and Jennifer were playing in the basement, they found a small hole in the wall, which looked in on their neighbor's basement which was full of strange metal contraptions and stranger metal boxes. The boxes were about the size of a big walk-in closet, for the basements were huge. The boxes were big enough that you could easily lay on the floor, albeit a little bit cramped. Suddenly, they saw the neighbor walk in and open one of the boxes. There's someone inside of it, said Hazel, looking through the hole, whispering to his sister. You're lying, says Jennifer. There's no one inside the boxes. They're too small. No, Hazel said. I'm not lying. You can check for yourself. Okay, I will, Jennifer says, and looks through the hole. But suddenly, she sees an eye staring back at her and a voice coming from the wall that says, You are next. Like for part two, everybody. And thank you for watching spooky stories that you probably shouldn't be listening to. Dun, dun, dun.